I don't like the question. It's just a scarcity mindset. If I'm not the boss, then I can't do this, that, and the other. I can't make decisions because I don't have the authority. I can't pursue what I really want to do. I don't have the freedom and... I don't get the credit that I deserve. So in this video, I will tell you the truth about the statement. I will show you though, how you can use the truth to start leading today. And I will also show you how you can use the truth to prepare for the future where you are the boss. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. If you've seen me a couple of times and haven't subscribed yet, well, that's the universe telling you that you need to subscribe. And when you've done so, let's get straight back into our content. Statement number one, I have no authority to make decisions. If you're the boss, you don't have that either. See, there's always somebody else that you need to convince. Yes, today you need to convince your boss, but when you are the boss, well, there will be a superior that you need to convince. And in addition, you now also have to convince your team to do the right thing, regardless of whether you're the boss or not. The number one skill is convincing people around you to do the thing that is most profitable for your company, for your organization. Statement number two, I don't have the freedom to pursue what I really want to do. As a boss, that flexibility becomes even less because now you have demands from all other kinds of sites. Now you don't only have to please your boss, you have to please your shareholders, the regulators, the board of directors. There are many other stakeholders that now want to take part of your time. And so the flexibility to focus on what you truly think is right, well, that becomes even less and less as you rise the career ladder. So when you want to start leading today, you better start focusing on that prioritization today. Make it your mission that every single thing that you do is geared towards the good of the company, to make your product better, to have better client service or to serve your team in a better way. And yes, I said all activities, not just some, because the more you focus on this prioritization, the easier the time becomes when you are the boss. Remember that third statement, I don't get the credit that I deserve. If you are into leadership because you want to receive credit, you are in for a bad surprise. If you want to be a good leader, your number one priority will become that the team gets all the credit it deserves, not yourself. You do become a better leader because your number one priority is to give all the credit to your team and not yourself. So stop focusing on that credit and start asking yourself, why do you want to be in leadership? Is it because you want to make the company better by exercising your influence? Do you want to make yourself a better leader for your team or create a better client experience? Or is it simply that you want to do something that you personally find fulfilling and worthwhile? We talked about the scarcity mindset at the beginning of this video. What I wish you can take from this video is that there is a different perspective, that you can act from a mindset of abundance. And that means that you can look at the reality of leadership and prepare from where you are today. Because the more you prepare, the easier your future career will become. And that is what I wish for you in the next few months. If you'd like to hear more and haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button for more advice on business, career, leadership, and of course, the little things that we can all do to make our life a little bit more fulfilling. My name is Kyle Liefert. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.